Hi guys, welcome to another beer review. It's going to be a quick one because um, I'm actually cooking with this beer. Making a nice, um, is it shepherd's or cottage pie when you use mints? I can't remember. Um, yeah, um, I was using this beer as the base for the gravy. So we're going over to the Minshoff Brewery, uh, who are part of Kulmbacher. And this is the Schwarz beer. So uh, yeah, clocking in at 4.9%. So without any further ado, let's get the beer poured and see what we get. Now I've only had this uh, a couple of times. I was actually introduced to this one by a good friend of ours here in the city. I'm gonna pour the rest back in there. And um, yeah, I, I had it and I thought it was really, really nice. So picked one up because uh, it's got elements of it that's gonna go well in the gravy. So I thought I'd uh, do a little review of it as well. So, beer in a glass and uh, not completely jet black, but there's some nice ruby brownie hues in there, but very, very dense looking. Beer poured with about one finger's worth of a tan coloured head, nice and creamy. Let me just give my uh, mints a stir. Thrilling viewing, I'm sure. So, on the uh, aroma, licorice, chocolate, dark chocolate, quite vinous as well, lots of grape-like character, prunes, dates, that sort of thing. It's got like a, a nice sweet smokiness to it also. But yeah, nice and malty, lovely, like, caramel, roasty malt character there. Yeah, it smells good. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. Yeah. That's so nice and smooth. Not velvety smooth, but it goes down smooth. Carbonation is really nice and gentle. Helps dispense that beer around the palate really, really nicely. You get a nice fizzle on the tongue. Doesn't, um die out too watery also but it's not leaving your mouth sticky or anything like that lovely burnt flavors in there like a slight burnt barrel effect but yeah lovely toffee indulgent like chocolatey caramel malts in there not too sweet but not too savory you get like that leathery tobacco sort of characteristic from it as well Nicely spiced, almost as if it's got a little bit of uh, black pepper in there also. But yeah, with all of that happening, really nice and drinkable. And at 4.9%, you could probably get a little bit carried away with this one. Schwarz beers, I think, are uh, quite underrated. I mean, probably the most popular one is Kustritzka. Um, which is, you know, I find that a really nice beer actually, but this just has a little bit more character to it. It's nicely balanced. It's nice, rich and indulgent. And uh, yeah, <laughs> if you want a good Schwarz beer, then definitely check out Munchoff's attempt at it. And in terms of a rating, I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. And um, yeah, looking forward to seeing how this uh, translates into a gravy. Yep, so check out the brewery, links down below. Check out my other reviews from these guys. Uh, follow me on the usual social network things. And uh, yeah, a beer review under five minutes. Who'd have thought? Thank you guys for watching. If any of my uh, friends here on YouTube have reviewed this one, their links are down below. And until the next time, see you later. Cheers.